So, ang problem natin ay ito. The position of the ball is at the origin when t is equal to 0. Find the velocity of the ball if it reaches the position r is equal to 15 ti plus 4.3 j after 1.2 seconds. So, ito yung drawing natin. Kung makikita nyo, may mga vertical and horizontal distances na given, which is 10 feet, 5, 7 feet, 15 feet, at may angle na 45 degrees. Una natin gagawin ay drawing natin ang free body diagram ng drawing. Dito yung origin at meron kang initial position na zero. Dito yung final position mo na 15 Ti plus 4.3 J. So may given na time which is 1.2 seconds at ang hinahanap ay initial velocity. Ngayon, kukunin natin kung paano nakuha itong equation na to. Base dun sa mga horizontal and vertical distance kanina, sa vertical distance, merong 10 feet at 5, 7 feet. So, pag mamainasin natin yun, para makuha natin yung 4.3 feet. Sa horizontal distance, yun na yun, 15 feet. So ngayon, isosolve na natin yung problem gamit ang formula dr is equals to vdt. So para makuha natin yung velocity, kailangan natin i-derive tong formula. I-divide mo lang siya sa dt, magiging dr over dt. So ayun na, since ang value ng r mo ay... 15 Ti plus 4.3 J. Pwede mo na siyang i-substitute dito at dumiretso sa pagdi-derivatives. V is equal to D 15 Ti plus 4.3 J over DT. So, pag ganito na yung form mo, pwede mo na siyang i-derecho sa derivatives. Ang makukuha mong sagot ay 15 Ti plus 4.3 J. Since given yung time mo na 1.2 seconds, pwede mo nang isubstitute ito dito. So, 15 1.2 seconds plus 4.3 J. Makukuha mo na yung sagot ng initial velocity mo na 36 I plus 4.3 J meter per Okay guys, welcome back to our channel. Let's start by reading the question. 
A bicycle travels from the origin along a curve path as shown. If the horizontal velocity is Vx equals 3t plus 1 meter per second where t is in second, determine the magnitude of its velocity, acceleration, and distance from the origin. So, here is our curve representing the equation of the line. Um, let's assume that the bicycle starts from here and then the curve will go here. Well, this is the curve path as shown represented by the equation of the line y equals 3 halves square root of x. So, represented by our velocity, v of x equals to dx over dt equals 3t plus 1. Manipulation, our formula, vx dt plus dx. And then integrating both sides, we get dx integration of 3t plus 1 dt. And then we get the final answer for x equals 3 has t squared plus t. And this will be our equation for function x. And then after we get our value of function of x will substitute this value into our equation of the line where we get y equals 3 4 square root of 2 3 t squared plus 2 t and then we'll be using our general distance formula for r equals x i plus y j and then we'll be substituting the acquired values here where 3 halves t squared plus t i plus 3 4 times t squared of 2 times 3 t squared plus 2t will get the distance r equals 16.5 i plus 6.09 j meters and this r is actually the distance from here to there Given that our function r is this, since our velocity is equal to dr over dt, will be deriving this r will give us 3t plus 1 i plus 9t plus 3 2 square root of 6t squared plus 4t j and that will be the function of our velocity and then we get the velocity for our initial condition when t equals 3 and then we substitute the t here we get the velocity in vector notation t 10 i plus 1.85 j meter per second and by the way we also substituted the initial condition time equals 3 in our general distance formula here and then by getting the acceleration where acceleration is equal to derivative of t velocity over time where we get the 3 i minus 3 divided by 6 t squared plus 4 t raised to 3 halves all in j. After we get the function in our acceleration, we again substitute the initial condition t equals 3 where we get acceleration in vector notation 3i minus 5.6 times 10 
Risk negative 3 J meter per second square and that will be our answer in acceleration. <laughs>